growing up on a reality show competing was very stressful. Maddie Ziegler has come a long way since starring on the Lifetime reality TV series Dance Moms. Her popularity is on the rise, and she's the epitome of success. But the road to stardom hasn't always been an easy one, and Maddie's childhood is filled with dark truths and surprising moments. Keep watching to find out what really went down on the set of Dance Moms. Young and Famous it's no secret that being under the public eye is a super stressful ordeal. People follow you around, seek you out in a crowd, take pictures of you, and publish faulty articles for your views. Being a famous adult is hard enough as it is, but being a famous kid can be even more challenging. Maddie Ziegler was only eight years old when she first appeared on Dance Moms. Her whole life revolves around dance and her life took a drastic turn right off the bat. At first, being famous sounded like a whole lot of fun, but soon enough, the Zigglers realized that fame came with a price. Me and Mackenzie had a definitely rocky childhood. The Dark Side of Social Media during an interview with Cosmopolitan, Melissa Ziegler opened up about the dark side of social media and how detrimental it can be for young children. Not only were Mackenzie and Maddie bullied online, but some internet trolls took things to a whole new level by pretending to be them on different platforms. On top of that, the Ziegler sisters were constantly subjected to negative comments and criticism, which can seriously affect young kids who are still learning to harness healthy levels of self-esteem because she was always compared against me. In hopes of preventing any mental trauma, Melissa made it a point to hire a social media manager once her girls started to get popular. Constant bullying. If being bullied online wasn't bad enough, both Maddie and Mackenzie were bullied on the set of Dance Moms. While many of us are quick to point a finger at Abby Lee Miller, whose teaching methods are absolutely questionable. It's hard to think about it. Think about it. <laughs> Abby wasn't the only contributor. Since Maddie was Abby's go-to dancer, many of the dance moms saw fit to talk about her behind her back. Worst of all was the fact that Maddie often overheard the adults fighting. How many times does my daughter beat your daughter this year? And her name was dropped more often than not. This did nothing for Maddie's confidence levels. Private Tutors since being a part of the Dance Moms cast was so demanding, many of the girls had to forgo a normal childhood. Maddie's freaking out because we're not allowed to ice skate. And that included going to school like other kids their age. A normal day in Maddie's life consisted of being followed around by cameras. She attended normal public school for about three and a half hours a day, only to rush to the ALDC to start shooting the reality TV show. On top of that, Maddie attended dance class nearly every single night. And when her schedule became too hectic, a private tutor was brought in to teach the girls in an office down the road from the studio. She's homeschooling so that the mother can get her here. No time to be kids. Since going to public school like normal children was out of the question, Maddie didn't have a chance to make friends outside of the studio, so her world literally revolved around the ALDC. On top of that, every minute of Maddie's life was accounted for. Going to birthday parties or kicking back with the girls on a Saturday night just wasn't permitted. Instead, Maddie and the other dancers practiced their dance numbers day and night. From Wednesday to Friday, the girls were in rehearsals, and on Saturdays, the girls would compete and film all day. Most of the girls only had Sundays off, but even then they had to study and get ready for the week. I was way more stressed than I am now. Growing up too fast. Not having the time to be a kid is something that Maddie, Mackenzie, and many of the other girls had trouble with. The girls and I don't get to do fun things as much as we used to do. As a result, they grew up too fast and were subjected to huge amounts of stress. What do you mean? You never leave dance, Matt. Maddie Ziegler is far from being a legal adult, but her schedule is loaded with endorsement deals, TV appearances, and tour dates. Dance Moms has many dark truths, and subjecting kids to pressure and making them grow up too fast is just one of them. Holds Dancers Back it's no secret that Dance Moms is the perfect platform for recognition. It's how Sia found Maddie in the first place. When I met her, it really just skyrocketed from there, and I'm so grateful for everything she's given me. But despite helping dancers gain popularity, the reality TV series can actually hold them back in the long run. During the same interview with Cosmopolitan, Melissa Ziegler talked about what it really means to have a contract with a TV series like Dance Moms. In the end, her girls received many offers and opportunities throughout their time on the show. 
You guys would be really fantastic, obviously for commercials. Commercials are great for kids. Unfortunately, though, they were unable to pursue them due to their binding contracts. So when the Zigglers finally decided to call it quits, they were all very happy to be moving on. Estranged Friendships one of the best things about Dance Moms is building close relationships. However, Maddie would soon realize that her longtime friends were bound to the show. When you're a part of the Dance Moms crew, you literally spend all of your time at the ALDC. So once you leave Dance Moms, you don't really get to see your friends anymore. It's just weird to think about our two sisters leaving. Maddie was super close to Kendall and Chloe, but sadly, their friendships took a hit after the Zigglers left Dance Moms. Mental Health Issues but perhaps the darkest truth of all is that being a part of the Dance Moms cast could potentially lead to mental health issues. Paige Highland and Kendall Vertez both suffered from anxiety attacks throughout their time on the show. I feel your little heart beating so fast. And many of the other dancers are reported feeling overwhelmed and mentally and physically strained. She's a little girl, seven hours of dance is a lot. Since the show revolves around preteens, competitions, yelling, and fighting, it would have been a good idea to have a child psychiatrist on set. Unfortunately, this just wasn't the case. What do you think is the best and worst part about being on Dance Moms? Sound off in the comments section. Give this video a big thumbs up if you love Maddie Ziegler. And don't forget to subscribe to The Things for the latest Dance Moms news. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.